I want to show one more demo of aggregate expressions. This was a problem that plagued me for a long time, and I could not solve it after learning what aggregate expression. I could finally solve this used widely by many people who are doing spatial analysis now. So I want to show how that works, and I can show you in what all different contexts you can use the aggregate expression. All of these demos have a blog post with step-by-step -step instructions and all the expressions there, so you can go and replicate this. The idea for this is whenever you are working with real world data, sometimes the data is messy. So here we have a, let me do this, open up the project. This is a project from a project that I was working on. We had some point here that came from one source and they had some place names. And then we had some census data that came from a different source and they had some place names. And since two people created the data, the names did not match exactly. Also, as it is with many non-English languages, if you convert a local place name into English, everybody spells them differently. So one, somebody spelled it one way, another people spelled it one way. So now if I wanted to do a join, so I, I wanted to get the census data attached to my places and create a map, I would say, use the table join tool and say, take the places layer, look at the name and compare it with the name field. I run it, it says 30 features from input layer could not be matched. There were 30 features which had no matches. So again, in this cases, you, if you have large data set, you'll have many of those matches, but I know for sure, if you look at the data, there are matches. It's just that they are spelled differently. So how do we fix it? And this requires you to do something called a fuzzy join. That means do not try to match the text exactly. Text which is close enough will be okay. Fortunately, QGIS provides fuzzy matching functions as part of the expression engine. So you are able to do fuzzy string matching within QGIS itself. Let's see how that works. Just gonna open a field calculator. In your expression engine, under the fuzzy matching, we have some functions here. This are the functions which are well-known fuzzy algorithms which take two strings and tell you how similar they are. The most commonly used one is something called a Levenstein distance. So this function takes two strings. I can say cat and bat. And it'll evaluate this and say the Levenstein distance between those two is one character. That means I can change one character from one string, it'll be same as other string. So this is known as Levenstein distance. In case of place names, for example, the city of Bangalore, is also spelled as Bengaluru. And you can see the distance between these two strings is three. You need to change three characters for this to arrive at the same string. So now we have a way to measure how similar those strings are. And the idea here is instead of trying to match Bangalore with Bengaluru, it won't match. We can say, try to find the closest match to Bangalore in the data set. So we'll compute the Levenstein distance between for the current feature against all the names in the database and pick the one with the least distance. And that would be the closest match. And that requires me to say, I have this city, a feature called Bangalore. I need to go and check against all the features of another layer and find compute this Levenstein distance. And again, this is the right fit for a fuzzy matching problem. So, sorry, uh, aggregate function. So we can use aggregate function to implement this. So let's implement this. We'll take this places layer and I'm going to create a new field called fuzzy match. And we're going to write an aggregate expression. Say, look at the census layer and we just want to get the array for now. We just want to list of just expression what we want to match, that uh, the field is called name, we we'll look at name. But uh, what features we want? And again, we want to find features where the Levenstein distance is, you know, maybe less than two or three. So we want something that is close to this. So we can say Levenstein distance between the, the name field and the attribute of Parent. So the Levenstein distance maybe is less than or equal to two or three, depending on what our requirement is. When we are doing this, we'll get all the matches which are less than two. We want it to be sorted in the order of the uh, distance. So we have one more option called order by. 
So we can order them by the elevation distance. So we just say compute, find all the features where elevation distance is less than two and sort them in the order of the elevation distance. And you can see for this feature, we have two matches, Wadi and Indi. Like those are kind of similar to those and they're sorted in the order of the elevation distance. And you can see they are, or you get all the matches. Similarly, we have this different city, different matches throughout this thing. If there's only one match, it's the match. If there are you know, two matches, it'll be sorted in the order of their distance. So once we have it, we can say, give me the first one. So we can just say, I have an array. We can use some array function and say, give me the array first. Array first will just give you the first value for this. We'll say array first. And we have our match here. So let me just copy this in case I made a mistake. So we have our list and we'll just run this. And you can see now we have got a fuzzy match for each place. We have the fuzzy match from the other layer. And maybe you can see this setup, there was no match, but the closest man was set down. Right? So you can see there's one character difference, but we could match this. Similarly, you can see this one was spelled with a space in between. This one didn't have space, but they could match that. So this is the closest match to this particular layer. And now we have the closest match. We can now rerun our at field value and say, this time use the fuzzy match field to match the data from the census. And now we're going to run this. And you can see from 30, we are down to just six mismatch. So we could match this 24 features, which could not match earlier using this fuzzy join. While the function was there, the key here was to implement this using a fuzzy match so that we can find the closest match. Again, this technique is not perfect because Sometimes if there's no match, but there's another city or town which has been spelled similarly, it'll still match this. If both of these were spatial layers, you could actually add one more condition saying that the, first, the distance or the distance between those two places has to also be within certain distance, or they should be part of the same admin area. So you can apply some spatial filters to kind of find features which are close by or in the similar region and also spell similarly. But this, since this was just a table, we could do this. So make sure once you do fuzzy map, make sure you do the QA for your output and see if that works correctly.